Right, work has finished. And we have had, oops, that would be the new mouse. Um, I don't know if I mentioned to you earlier, my car was rattling, the exhaust, there was something wrong with it. So I took it into the garage. Now, I was expecting to get my car back today. <laughs> you can see where this is going, can't you? Because I've got a girl date tonight with me, myself and I uh, in London, which I was going to drive to, obviously, because it's me. And there was a problem with the part. Uh, basically, the exhaust is not there um, and I can't get my car until tomorrow. So that means I've got to get my own, make my own way to the gig that I'm going to. I'm going to Union Chapel to see an amazing pianist called Okiem. And if he wasn't so amazing and if I wasn't so excited about it, I wouldn't go. Because It's interesting because a lot of you comment and say, oh, you know, you have so much confidence going to things on your own. And I always used to kind of think that that was true. Don't get me wrong. I, it takes some level of confidence. But I think doing something on your own, or for me, when I have a car I can just step into and escape from, it makes things a hundred times different. Now, the thought of going into London is like, and it's tipping it down with rain also, is like, I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it, but I know I'm going to love it when I'm there. So that's what I'm focusing on. So I'm going to do some quick makeup because I've got to leave in 10 minutes. And the other thing I didn't think about is a couple of my big coats are in the car. <laughs> in the car, the carriage. Um, I do have a spare car key here, but I can't go and break into my car. It might be in... It might be on the street, but it's probably in in said garage. I'm not going to break into my own car. Um, yeah. <sighs> There's none in this. Thank you, Charlotte. <sighs> Tilbury. Now. I'm going to talk to myself now. We're only going to put on a little bit of makeup because if you do a lot, you're going to feel anxious and stupid. <laughs> this ain't Texas. This ain't hold on. Okay, just a little, 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 little. Okay. I did my makeup the other day actually, and then I took it all off because I felt claustrophobic. So hopefully that won't happen today. I need to clean my brushes actually. I need a good scene too. Shall we? Shall we get into it? What am I nervous about? What is it? Um, it's definitely the walk to the station and like feeling out of breath and feeling like I can't really do it. Feeling like stranded. Feeling vulnerable. Ooh. And it seems so silly. My therapist would say, there's a lot of judgment there. You're judging yourself. Yes, I am. Yes, I am.
the thing is, it's not even far. Like with the with the walk to the station from my house, it takes 34 minutes, which is nothing. It's so close. I'll be fine once I'm doing it. It's just the getting out. <laughs> this ain't Texas. I was gonna put a different color on my um, eyes for once. Let's go with Scorched. This is the Urban Decay Heat Palette. I mean, this looks exactly the same as what I normally do, <laughs> but just the other color. This in Texas. <sniffs> Gotta think about what coats I have. Oh, I don't even have my leather coat. That's in the car. My black coat's in the car. My car with the my coat with the furry hood is in the car. So all my long raincoats are in the car. Oh my God, have I charged my phone? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna have to like, <laughs> patch together an outfit. What am I gonna do with my hair? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I can't even be bothered to put a bra on. Cut to the cute outfit. I've also just found out it's gonna be four degrees tonight, which is cold. I'm layering tonight because of the temperature that it's gonna be. So underneath this dress, I've got a t-shirt and leggings. Leggings? And then this dress is collusion. Got it on Vinted. It's a lifesaver dress because can just put it on and it just goes. I have, a, I've got like a, my sports bra on that I've been wearing all day because I cannot be bothered to change it. Little hoops. Then, I did have my socks poking out but I feel like it's a bit silly. So, now we put on the only coat that is in this in this room and we pray Makeup, lipstick. That'll do. We made it.
I couldn't if I wanted to. <sighs> this train station always smells like a hospital. Always. And that is timing for you. I made it to Highbury Islington and now I've got to get there but it's only over there so we're all good oh there's a pret that's new so the station is there and literally that's the church <laughs> so it's so lovely and close and even though the universe didn't um, let me have my car. They let me have my favourite prep baguette. So, little victories. Now I really hope that they don't take the baguette off me at the doors, otherwise I'm just gonna have to stand there and scoff it whilst everyone looks at me. My baby back <laughs> um, I just went to collect it they always mess up my chair and I know I shouldn't be complaining because they helped me and they did my car but they always like massively put the seat up and forward and I'm like you had it for like five minutes like having a seat in a car is like I don't even know where the things are to change the seat First world problems, I know. How do I even change the seat knobs? Where are the knobs? Ah. No, maybe I shouldn't be doing this in traffic. Um, basically, there was a problem with my silencer. It had corroded. I'll put a picture in here. He was like, he's, he's quite, um, I'd say subdued. He's quite a subdued man. He's always, he's just, he's just business. He's like, right, this will be this, this will be this, this will be this, okay? Like, and then he went in today, he was like, there was a massive hole in your silencer. Do you want to see it? <laughs> and I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then this is what I saw uh, corroded over time. And he was like, you got your money's worth out of that one? And I was like, yeah. Um... Yeah, he's sweet. He's really sweet. So yeah, I'm really 
grateful to have my car back. It wasn't too much money. <sighs> but honestly, I feel like I'm about to touch the ceiling. I think it's also because it's forward. I don't know what's, what he's done or what the person's done. But I do feel more like, I feel more alert in the car. So maybe I should keep it like this. I don't think I filmed last night after the concert, did I? No, I didn't. It was so good. It was so good. Um, the journey home was fine. I mean, it was really cold. Um, but it's quick, so it was fine. Well, quick in terms of commuting in London, I suppose. Uh, I was only going from like northwest to north. So yeah, it was fine. What was really cool about the concert is that it had an interval. There was no sugar. He nearly hit that guy off his bike. Um, burr, burr, burr. Yeah, so when I got there, it was like doors open at seven, no support act. So normally at Union Chapel, there is a support act and you kind of walk in and there's a, maybe a tiny queue, but that's fine. Last night, well, the queue was like all the way down the block. It was like all the way down the building. But what was really interesting about it was there's a, there was an interview, the interval. I think there was an hour's worth of playing and then we had half an hour interval. It was a long concert. And when we got there, there was, uh, everybody had an envelope on their seat and I opened it and it was this inside. Um, and this guy behind me <laughs> was like, I wasn't expecting this kind of night. <laughs> I was like, so it was really interesting. So obviously when people go for an interval, you come back and you need to get back into it. And with comedy, I think it's different or with like a band, it's different. But with this kind of music, you need to be re, re submerged. <laughs> so to have the eye mask on and he played this beautiful piece called Mercy. Was it Mercy or was it? Yeah, I think it was called Mercy. Just to have it like filter over you and just with your eyes shut and knowing that everybody else was doing the same and to have that experience, it was just magical. It was really magical. And I definitely zoned out because when he when he stopped, I kind of took it off and I was like, ah, like saw it anew and everyone was back in the mood. And um, they did like a mashup, they did some, they did some like Ibiza hits. They did some, like they did the holiday song from the holiday, the main song. Da, 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 da. Um, and they did, um, yeah, he was like, I'm gonna do a really random mashup now and see if you can get all the songs. Yeah, it was uh, Inspector Gadget was there. My heart would go on. It was a bit random actually, but it was really funny and it, everyone was up and dancing. So I definitely didn't expect that last night. I took my earphones, ear, ear plugs, whilst I was waiting, because I know that, uh, I know that I'm oversensitive to people's conversations. I know that I'm quite a loud person, but when I'm on my own and all of a sudden I'm, I'm I've got double standards, I'm like, wow, they're so loud. <laughs> um, Wow, they're just so loud. How do they not know they're so loud? Should I tell them to be quiet? The music hasn't even started yet. This is what's going on in my head. So I'm so glad I went. And tonight is a big night, actually. Tonight I'm meeting all of Emma's school friends. <sighs> the, <laughs> the song he used <laughs> to like go into the mashup was or like to go into the Ibiza mix was smoke weed every day. <laughs> Which I think is absolutely hilarious that that was like bursted out in Union Chapel. <laughs> and he like, he like suck it with the microphone. Just that line. But it got everyone like, whoa. Cause it was just so unexpected. It was really fun. Um, I kind of wished I wasn't on my own there. I was feeling a bit, um, I wished, it was so good, I wished somebody was with me last night and, um, yeah. Yeah. But hey, that's life, that just shows how much I enjoyed it. 
finally my car doesn't go dig 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 dig. I thought this would be like red. That is not where they've like made it so that it's not as low there's a pin here and they've pinned it and then on this side there's a huge rip well not huge there's a rip this is the color on the listing really red <laughs> and that's the color like a peachy orange red orange okay i've just messaged her this is the thing on vinted colors look different um on our phones anyway and she'd taken those pictures at night which also means that the camera changes the lighting settings on the camera to take the picture and probably to boost the colors so fair enough the pictures were amazing she used she used a plus size mannequin which is part of the reason why i bought the dress for 11 11 pounds and it's been really 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 washed this in my opinion on vintage isn't worth more than five um so yeah when i bought the when i bought the dress i messaged her <laughs> it's only come from Stevenage, it's so close. I said I really appreciate the photos on plus I really appreciate the photos and the use of a plus size mannequin. It's fantastic. And she said thanks so much, I'll be sending it tomorrow. So we've had a bit of banter, a bit of chat before this. So this is the thing, this is you know, when I take pictures of things, I look at the thing and then I look at the picture to see if the colour's right. Because it's difficult enough to work out what something will look like in real life. Let alone if the colours are off. Hopefully, and I've messaged her before I've contacted Vinted. So I'm going to see what she responds and I'll keep you updated. Yo yo. Yes. I, I need your iPhone. Oh, you just have a couple of bucks off your iPhone. Couple of what, sorry? Pot, small plates. Yeah, they're here now. Hi. <laughs> this is a sock. Um, and this is an eye mask around my mouth. So I finally, after ages and ages and ages, bought myself a drill, a sea glass drill. So I'm assuming you saw this in last week. I went to Charmouth and I collected lots of sea glass. Um, and what I'm sitting here currently doing is I saw a tip that this woman put on, I think it was Instagram, about getting the sea glass. Because when you find it, so sea glass is just glass that's been in the sea and it's tumbled around. My brother calls it tumbled about old rubbish. And it looks like this. So it's all like um, grainy with salt. But there's a way to get it from this to this. Uh -huh. There we go. And that is by using a bit of oil. Because the oil dissolves the salt. So that's what I've just been doing. And then I've been rubbing off the excess with my sock. <laughs> because what else would I use? I did do a bit of drilling just now, but it doesn't actually work as well as I thought it would. So I put this to cover my mouth and nose so that I'm not breathing in glass sh shards. Yeah, look. Obviously I need to leave this and see how, how it stays. But look, obviously, as I said in last week's video, the main colors are blue, green and brown. But sometimes you get different types of blues, green and brown. Look at this stunning blue. Oh. Look at it. Sorry, bluey green, that one, because that's another green. 
but then the regular green is more like this so this is before the oil and I'm actually just using castor oil just put a drop on give it a good rub oh lovely <laughs> I'm meant to be doing a million other things but yeah so my dream is to make some jewellery but I need to check and see how this sits, how the oil takes, because obviously if it's just gonna go salty again, I need to find a way to like polish up the sea glass so that it stays looking fantastic. There we go. Hmm. I just absolutely love it. Let's do this big bit. So again, all cloudy drop of oil <laughs> my old um silversmithing teacher used to say that because when we would drill he'd always say drop of oil because you have to put the oil down to drill <laughs> oh this one's got a bubble in it oh i don't know if you can see that it's like this side amazing if you live near a beach and you've never looked for sea glass before some beaches have a lot more of it than others Charmouth has a lot if you live up near Northumberland like Sunderland way Seam is famous for sea glass I know that a lot of you live up by Seam because when I went there before I got loads of comments saying I live near Seam you should have said <laughs> you were there stunning Obviously, I've been quite lucky with these big bits because that would be considered a big bit. Um, sometimes it's just bits this size and smaller. I've been known to pick up shards like that. Tiny baby one. Oh, I just love it. Just absolutely love it. When I was a kid, I used to collect shells. I've always been a floor dweller a floor a floor viewer and um fun fact i don't think any of you know this i don't think i've said it before when i was in brownies aged about nine nine eight nine i got my like collector's badge by collecting shells so i've always been absolutely obsessed with finding things and looking for treasure as it were you can also paint it with clear nail varnish but I know that's a bit more like not as natural as this so yeah that's the big brown bit that would be a gorgeous pendant I also my dad my dad got me some um, driftwood when he was last on the beach. And I was thinking about maybe doing like a driftwood hanging. So like getting some wire, just like hanging some down from it. I've seen something like that on Pinterest, so it's not my original idea. And like have it so it goes in the window. Yeah. I'm just trying to do things recently that are more um, actually having time out for my brain because my brain just my brain just does not stop. And if you're wondering what this is, <laughs> it's pink tack. So when I was drilling, I was like, what can I get to hold the thing in place? So Maggie got me some pink tack for Christmas. It's like blue tack, but it's pink. But funnily enough, it, the, I, I need to read the book or I need to watch a thing <laughs> it says here number 19 stay alert when using the drill be aware of what you are doing use common sense sense is spelled S-E hyphen N-S-E funnily enough it doesn't say here use a eye mask over your mouth they're staying pretty good so far I 
loved the shape of this one. Mmm, oily hands. Because a lot of the shapes are quite, what's it called, quite um, bog standard, I'd say. Like, a lot of it is similar. But this bit was like, it looks like a mini bottle stopper. And it's quite, like, round. My eye looks so creepy. Cute. One more. I'm just so it's just so addictive. Two at once. It's like magic. <laughs> oh. So this is what it looks like pre pre sorting it out, and these are the lovely done bits. <laughs> so I'm listening to an audio book. Hi, by the way, Monday Monday morning. Morning's here, the morning's here. And I'm on the A1, which is not ideal. It's eight o'clock. I could sleep for a week. Um, but I've just had my first hot cross bun of the year. So it's not all bad. Um, I'm listening to a book called Snow in a, Snowed in at Christmas by Sarah Morgan because I love a Christmas book no matter what time of the year love a Christmas film I'm assuming I'm going to get a lot of disagreement with that but we are all individuals in this world <laughs> I've had such a busy weekend Friday night I met Emma's school friends so I think there were like seven of us in total um and yeah the girls were so lovely and welcoming and it was just a really great night we went to a restaurant in cold drops yard in king's cross called casa pa pador casa pador yep i think that was it and then we went for a glass of wine afterwards at vinoteca in cold drops yard i've never been to a restaurant there before which is ridiculous i don't know how i haven't but um yeah, it was really nice. Saturday, I had like a two hour nap in the middle of the day. Did some work in the morning. Then Saturday, late. Did I take my medication yesterday? Yes, I did. Saturday afternoon, evening, we had, um, I went to Emma's and we had her brother and his girlfriend over for dinner and some games. We played past the pigs and we had fajitas that was so good and made for heaters. Yesterday, I went to see Charlie for her birthday. Happy birthday yesterday, Charlie. Then I went to see my brother, my niece and nephew, sister-in-law. Went to Simmons Bakery, got some baps and took them to Louis. Then chilled out with Emma, <laughs> chilled out with Emma again in the evening. We had a Chinese takeaway that was delicious. I haven't had Chinese in so long and it was so good. We had prawn crackers, crispy seaweed, shrimp chow mein, crispy chili beef, and sweet and sour chicken balls. It was excellente. The chicken was, well, the chicken was really chicken, like big bits of chicken in the chicken balls, which I think is quite rare. And the balls were very big balls, which I was a fan of. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, wah, wah, wah. Then yeah I have just woken up About an hour and a bit ago And now here we are In the car The year, the week that we go into March Listening to Christmas book Wishing I was in bed Because I am exhausted But hey 
and I actually have tomorrow off which is good I've booked it off just to have a bit of a well to sort out my <laughs> sort out my studio ah oh it's a joke at this point it's a freaking joke morning's here the morning's here there's always traffic at this bit so boring anyway we appreciate the heritage check but you still intend to leave as soon as possible he said it as a statement of fact why because you're feeling unhappy and want to be on your own you're making it sound as if i'm an invited guest and we both know i'm not that I just had a crumpet and I'm hungry today. A slice of toast with cream cheese and ham. And now I've got some seeds and some flame raisins and a coffee. Yeah, I'm PMSy. So beware. wanted to get back into jewelry making for so freaking long so whilst I'm learning I got this wire that's gold plate no sorry gold colored plate because I didn't want to get expensive gold plate wire yes that works um, And mess it up so yeah I got some what is that so I got some jump rings yeah some jump rings and some pliers some wire god I've missed jewelry making and this wasn't even what I used to do I used to literally make the jump rings and make well, make everything, make the, I've made clasps. Did I talk about this in this one? So I, oh, my HND, Higher National Diploma, was in silversmithing. And, oh yes, these are the um, real silver pendant holders. Yes, to get my creative on, to design stuff, make things. It's been too long. I would love, love, love to have like a little stall somewhere and sell my bits that I make. And I'm really excited later to go home and see the sea glass that I polished up with oil the other day and see what it's like because I haven't been home since Saturday. Oh yes! These are the earring, um, the earring attachments. So I got silver and gold with jump rings and tweezers. And it comes with this really cool ring So the ring, to save you like, so the ring has got little slits in it and you put the jump ring in and then you just twist it so it holds it in place whilst you twist it so you don't have to like, sorry the jump ring is the little silver, like the little rings that will attach to this and then if I need a bigger one I've got the jump rings here so I was gonna go into London and go to Hatton Garden and get like a few bits from, I used to go to this shop when I did my, I'll leave that on. When I did my silversmithing course, I used to go to this shop called Belor, Belor Rash Bell. And I was gonna go there and get a few bits, but I thought 
I'd rather just get multi-packs now and then yeah and then see how I get on And I wanted to do it in a place where we're not going to be disturbed at an awkward moment. I love my family, but when everyone is home, there is not a lot of privacy. Oh my God. Why do people put masks on their passenger seat headrest? There's one there that's like a skull and it always freaks me out. Like, you know, in sometimes like builders vans, they put the screen masks. I'm always like, ah! because you don't expect to see it there, do you? Good morning. I have just bought some shopping, some delivery shopping, and I forgot to buy cotton wool buds I gave mine to Emma when we went away well she packed them and normally we're really uh, normally we're really good at like swapping things back to the original person but for some reason it just didn't happen so I've got like six of those reusable face face makeup pads can I find any of them no, well, yes, one, and it's, need, it's it needed a wash about two weeks ago, and I've just been eking it out, so I think I'm going to have to properly wash my face um, and find a flannel rather than just... I have face wipes, but they're in the car. So I just ordered shopping, and I did something today that I have never done, which is I got my normal shopping, and then you can add, like, a a random a random a random bag for a random bag full of stuff for a fiver so this is my random bag so let me run you through what I got first so I bought baby spinach pomegranate jewels Ripe and ready bananas. They're always too ripe. Oh, I can't eat five bananas in a day. Oh. Carrot batons, because I didn't eat the last lot. They went off. Four. Ex four. What's the word? Transparency? Yeah, let's go with that word. I didn't eat the last lot. Some lovely rolls a oh that's very squashed almond croissant for breakfast even though it's like midday mature cheese tang fastics that I realised I was calling tantastics and I have always called them tantastics Look at how many cherries are in that one. Cherry, 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 cherry. Perfecto. Greek yogurt. Now this, I've had these before. It's crunchy snacking cheese by a brand called Serious Pig and it's got truffle in it. It's basically just cheese, dried cheese with truffle and they are insane, they are incredible. Then I've got some sweet corn, um, some tortilla. Oh, I was going to get some dip. Oh, I think I've got some hummus in my fridge. Um, some tortilla chips. And then I forgot that I got the tortilla chips and I got some barbecue Texas sauce. This wasn't the flavour that I ordered. 
I'm sure I ordered prawn cocktail. Okay, so now this whole bag was a fiver. So let's see what we got. So we got French fries, which is hilarious because now I've got three lots of crisps to eat. I mean, I'm not complaining. I haven't had French fries in years. Um, okay, stir fry. That's the world telling me I need to eat more veg. Thank you very much, universe. Some fresh thyme. Oh, lovely. Orange. A bag of juice. No, um, <laughs> a mozzarella. <laughs> I love these rounded bags. Butter roast turkey breast. This is a bargain for a fiver. A loaf of bread, even though I've already got my rolls, so I might have to take this to mum's tomorrow. Oh my goodness, two rush, two packs of bacon, unsmoked. I was just thinking to myself the other day, I'd love a bacon sandwich and now I can have one. Universe. And um, a milk, which is great because I can use this now and save my long life um, almond for another day. Obviously, if you get one of these random bags, you need to have like no dietary requirements other than loves food. Wow. Wow. Amazing. So, bef yeah. I need to tidy up my kitchen before I put any of this away. Oh, a bag of juice. I'm joking, that's absolutely disgusting. It's never normally see-through as well, so it feels a bit weird. Imported from Italy to Twickenham. Hmm. Okay. So last night I went to this, uh, the Royal Vauxhall Tavern, the RVT, as you can see from my wrist. I didn't film any of it because I forgot my camera. Actually, no, I did film a couple of bits on my phone and it was a drag king show for um, a charity called Mind Your Head. No, sorry, by some by two drag kings who have a company called Mind Your Head, um, which says no to, which is called, oh, and they put on a night for a charity called Beat, who, who are a uh, trigger warning. I'm going to use the word eating disorder. So they're an eating disorder charity um, because eating disorders are way more prolific, prevalent in the LGBTQIA plus community than in um, any other community. So they put on an amazing show. I was absolutely exhausted yesterday and I was so close to saying I couldn't go to Mag's. I uh, went with Maggie and her friend Chloe. It was one of the best nights I've had in so long. I laughed so much it was just a night full of love full of incredible individuals such talent such there was such a varied load of acts there was a human dressed as a um nivea for men bottle uh i'll show her. actually i don't even know if i'm allowed to show it it was it was just an insane insanely amazing night and I'm so glad I went um and it's just made me realize that I kind of I want I miss being in queer spaces because for those of you that are new here I am bisexual um and I've never really been in in included in a lot of queer spaces I mean I've been to a few gay bars and stuff but as a in any other entity other than that I haven't so um, it was just an amazing night. It was just so good, felt so safe, laughed more than I have done in so long. Um, I was like nearly losing my voice at the end of the night because I was whooping so much. But yeah, I feel so full of love today. And yeah, let's get on and make a bacon sandwich. <laughs> I've just realised that both of these packs have got 16 rashers in each, so 32 rashers. Hey Google, what's 16 times 2? 16 by 2 is 
32. Not just a pretty face, eh? Ready to wrap around meat or crisp in the pan. Interesting. Okay. Am I going to have a bag of french fries as a starter? Yes, I am. Cheese and onion. Hey, I'm currently sat in my kitchen in a cupboard um, because I'm attempting. It's an absolute state, but you knew that because it's a day that ends in Y. Um, this... <sighs> shame 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 this uh, is real life for me i haven't been home for what feels like properly for ages so whenever i come home i like oh, i don't even know where i'm going my kitchen's estate beginning and end start and end of story um i have just been sorting out um all the like disgusting rubbish has been taken out a while ago but these are just like packets this is paper we have to separate into a different one and then this is this is the recycling in there so i've just sorted this all out from my bins and now we're gonna have to the washing up's there to be done shortly I was thinking that maybe, like, once a month I could do a YouTube live where we both, like, tidy up together. So it's like a body doubling kind of thing. Where, yeah, I can just talk, run through stuff whilst I do bits and you could do bits. Because I know that the getting started for people... It's so freaking hard. Um, and another massive issue of this cupboard, this um, kitchen, is this cupboard. So, oh God, that's going to fall from up there, isn't it? That My, te my tease box. This massively needs sorting out. So it's really weird being this low down. So, and then my, this needs sorting out because all my, Cleaning supplies are just jammed in there. So like, and the, don't even get me started on the fridge. There's so much unused wasted food in there, which again, causes so much shame. Um, oh my God. Oh well, real life baby. <laughs> I forgot that I, I got a bit fixated with doing the cleaning because I need to put my shopping away still. So I need to do the fridge before I can do that. And then I needed to do the kitchen before I could do the fridge because it obviously needs to be done in a certain order. You want to see the fridge? I don't really want to show you, but hey, it's full. It looks full. Look, this is the fridge. So I've just actually cleaned this bottom shelf, which looks lovely. Um, but yeah, those mushrooms are mouldy. The carrots are gone. The celery is on the edge. Same celery, same. <laughs> oh my God, I've got a Lucas aid. Oh, did you hear that? It's all... Let's give that. Let's give that a little wipe with a with a fresh cloth, shall we?